This is the General Aviation Keyboard Modification. It's one of our most popular DIY projects for Flight Simulator X. With these keys, you can tune your radio frequency without using the mouse. Here we are dialing in a frequency on COM1. However, you can't tune your COM2 radio the same way. There's no way to assign that function in the controls menu. Well, it turns out there is a way to change COM2, and I'll show you how. Here's the scenario. We're departing the Monterey Peninsula Airport. Let's tune in the control tower frequency on COM1. Press the COM SELECT button. Notice these numbers are highlighted on the standby frequency. Use the increase selection and decrease selection buttons to tune the COM radio. Press the COM SELECT button twice and tune the numbers to the right of the decimal point. The frequency is 118.4. Switch it to the active frequency when you're ready to contact the tower. Here's how to enter a frequency in COM2. Press the COM SELECT button, then press the number 2. Notice these numbers are highlighted in the COM2 standby sign. Again use the increase selection and decrease selection buttons to tune the COM2 radio. Press the COM SELECT button twice, then the number 2. Now tune the numbers to the right of the decimal. Unfortunately, you still have to use the mouse to click the virtual COM2 button on the radio stack. We couldn't totally get away from the mouse. Sometimes you can enter all the frequencies you'll need while you're still several miles away from an airport. For example, here we are again approaching Monterey. We're talking to NorCal Approach on COM1. We can also listen to ATIS at the same time on COM2. We know we're going to get handed off to tower, so we can have the tower frequency ready on the standby side of COM1. We can even have the ground control frequency on standby in COM2, so we don't have to look that up later. This same technique works for the nav radios too. For example, let's say we're being vectored for the ILS-31 at Salinas Municipal Airport. We have the ILS frequency set up on NAV1, and here is our inbound heading. We can also enter the Salinas VOR in NAV2. The VOR is located on the field and can help us maintain our spatial awareness. Press the NAV SELECT button, then the number 2, and dial in the frequency just like you did for the COM2 radio. Now identify the VOR. Let's find out what radial we're on. Press OBS, then 2, and then adjust the dial until we center the needle with a from indication. We're 
on the 110 degree radial from the Salinas VOR. As we fly west, we will approach the 130 degree radial. That's the reciprocal of our inbound course of 310, so we can expect a turn to intercept as we get closer. As we cross the radials, the needle swings to the left. Recenter the OBS to see what radial we are now crossing. We are almost to the 130 degree radial. Let's say we've received our vector inbound and now we're entering the approach. You can also see the localizer is now active in NAV1. 